Well, Nathan, fresh out of lockdown, um, how have you and the players uh, done that? And I guess good to, to get a run around again today. Yeah, good to get out, back out on the training track and, and do a little bit. Uh, we'll have our main session uh, tomorrow. We had you know a little bit of time in, in at the club in terms of come in for the COVID test, have a little bit of a coaches meeting yesterday morning, so able to come in and you know use the gym a little bit uh, in the morning. Other than that, yeah, just at home uh, watching a fair bit of footy and um, yeah, a fair few uh, Netflix shows with the kids. What's the wash up from that Cats game? There was a lot to like, but obviously you felt the wrong side of the result. What, what was the sort of take out from that coaches meeting? Yeah, I, I think the contest was a was significant for us more the aerial contest than anything. I think we did a good job in terms of taking away Geelong's marks and um, and changing the way they played. Um, but a little bit of our ball use certainly hurt us. Uh, and then you know we, we got outmarked at both ends of the ground. Nathan, you lose Todd Marshall you gain Scott Lysett. Is it simple mm -hmm. as just play Lysett and Adams and work that formula again? Or yeah. I, else no, I would have thought that would be the most likely. Uh, outcome this week is you know Pete's been pretty good for us uh, for a month. Scooter was excellent, um, you know, for the first eight weeks of the year. So they've worked well in tandem before, and you know we think they can again. Any other boys that perhaps are hands in the air this week? Well, we only had uh, we have seven players maybe that were AFL listed mm. players and NFL on the weekend. So you know we're not not super deep uh, this week. I think most of the guys are probably still two weeks ago away, whether it be Dersma. Uh, Fantasia, uh, we, we're still a little bit away from starting to get some numbers back, but um, you know to have Scott Lysett back this week's good. So that's the diagnosis with Arazio, still another week or two? Yeah, I'd still say he's at least a week or two away, yet. Yeah. Nathan, there's a lot of crunching of statistics nowadays mm -hmm. to then come up with all sorts of theories. There's clearly a Port Adelaide with good numbers against bottom 10 clubs and very different numbers against top 8 clubs. How do you crunch those numbers? Yeah, I think it'd be fair to say on, on this season's form that the right at the moment with the, with the people we have, the top couple are uh, a little bit better than us. You know, we're, we're certainly able to challenge them and, um, you know, the last couple of games against the Bulldogs and, and Geelong, we've been strong and, and competitive for extended periods of the game, but not good enough to get uh, the job done. So, uh, you know, the, the latter is a fair reflection on who we are right now. Is that telling you you need more personnel <coughs> or you need to change the way they play? I think it's improving the people that we have in the team. We've still got some real young people in the team that are you know, genuine AFL learners. Um, so looking to improve them, uh, continue to work on our team method and brand, and, and then you know, if we get some personnel back as well, that's a bonus. Are you short in any area? Do you feel you're short something? We felt a bit short on the ground on the weekend when Geelong kept marking it, but um, uh, I, I think there's, you know, I, I think we've got some good solid depth throughout the, the, the the team, I think it's just being challenged in all areas at the moment. Are you far off this between the top four as it is right now? Is there a big gap between the top four and bottom four? The top four and the, the top bottom four, four of the eight? Um, well, it seems like it's three or four goals um, at the moment. So, look, I, I think there's some things we can certainly improve on uh, from the weekend, uh, from Thursday's game. But, um, you know, until we do that, they're going to be uh, in front of us on the ladder. How do you improve something like Skiller, it's not really a, let's go out there and cheer hundred yeah. this week. How do you improve that mid-season? Some of it's, it's uh, continue to upskill their knowledge and, and grow their understanding of the game. You know, I think we adapted to what Geelong did. You know, Geelong, we, we were able to score quickly in the first quarter. Geelong put numbers behind the ball, uh, made it more challenging for us to pick our way through. And, and we looked like we could pick our way through at times, but we would pull the trigger too early and kick it to uh, Blixarves or you know, one of their tools, so, or, or mess the kick up. So I, I think we can continue to upskill and educate. We've got some um, talented people in our team that, that we think are going to be very good AFL players, mixed in with some very good AFL players. Um, so, you know, we still think we're, we're growing the team in the right direction, um, but, yeah, didn't get the result we wanted. Is it easier said than done to tell Charlie Dixon not to show his frustration on the footy field because it <laughs> is becoming costly? Uh, oh, he's an emotional man. I think the, the uh, positive is his actions in, in the way he played were, were very good. I mean, it's, he's unusual to get um, to give away 50 metal penalties like he did. Um, we, we just watched the free kickback of the one in the second quarter in the ruck infringement. He did bang my desk as he watched it again. Um, so, yeah, my desk is now recovering uh, from that. But, no, he's... Uh, he, he, look, I, I think he's been improving. Um, his form's been uh, pretty good. And, you know, if he's 
going to be uh, emotional, well, be emotional, be good, you know, and, and show that you're caring for the team. I'm okay with that. Um, Bass, would there be a push for Hamish Hartle? I know in terms of numbers and so I'm not sure how you regard his game on the weekend, but given there are a few situations where maybe some young blokes got out body a few times on the weekend and contested for and things like that, would there be a push for Hartle to maybe come into a record? Uh, oh, look, Hamish is, um, you know, certainly doing his best to, to play his way back into strong form. It was a tough game for the SNFL team on the weekend and, you know, he had a, had a tough role playing deep in defence uh, in a, a team that wasn't getting a lot of the ball in their, their forward half. So, uh, you know, Hamish brings experience and, and he's, a, he's a terrific uh, person to have around our footy club. You know, I'm sure when there's an opportunity and if there's one this week, we'll, we'll give it to him. Uh, if there isn't, then he'll... Um, do his best in the SNFL.